trying to get this Metal Gear script right and eventually yeah. make the kick-ass version of that movie that a lot of people who would watch this would frankly say, you can't make a good Metal Gear movie. It's impossible, and I believe you can, and that's why I've been fighting for this thing for for three, four years now, because I believe that... Yeah, you can like, only let's, let's get that straight. You chased that down. You were like, I want to make Metal Gear. Like, this is a personal investment I was in me. a meeting after Kings of Summer at Sony. You go on these, like, large meetings where suddenly people are like, oh, you've made a movie, now we want to give you more movies. And I was sending this message and wanted to make a big movie. There was a Metal Gear book on an executive's desk, and I was like, I want to do that. You have that? And they said, you can't do that. And even my agents and managers, who are lovely, supportive people, said, yeah, you're not going to be able to get that. Because there's no point in, in attaching a director to development. That's just not how Hollywood generally works. And I just kind of went at it saying, I can almost guarantee you there's not a single person in this town that knows more about this franchise and that it means more too. And like, and literally I went into it being like, I don't care if they steal every idea that I tell them. I put together a Bible, a giant book that spent me three months to make that just broke down what Metal Gear is what the problem with video game adaptations are, and how you translate the uh, active experience of playing a game into the passive experience of watching a movie. And I gave them that book saying, I don't care if you take any of these ideas and, and do not hire me. All I want in my life is to see a great Metal Gear movie. And you know, luckily the people at Sony and the people that we were working with, the producers were like, oh, like, yeah. This, like, well, we should talk. There, there was a, I, I went into Kong Skull Island kind of knowing you were, you were hovering around this, and there's a shot in that movie that Pretty much sold me. You got Tom Hiddleston wearing a gas mask with a katana going through green smoke and cutting pterodactyls in half, and their blue guts are flying everywhere. And I'm like, if it, that isn't like on the same, like, kind of just periodic table of weirdness that Kojima's ideas are, you got katanas and gas masks. And, uh, it was a real yeah. onset. I actually sent a picture of that to uh, one of Kojima's producers, and I was, I was like, I'm kind of having my cyborg ninja moment right now. Um, but honestly, I'm actually proud of the movie because I do think some people are like, oh, it actually has a weird Metal Gear tone, because I love playing with tone. And a lot of studios are afraid of playing with tone, and the number one thing you have to understand about Metal Gear is it's got a crazy tone. Mm -hmm. And for me, getting to know Kojima, who is a hero of mine, but now also a colleague and a friend, and learning his brain, or at least learning like a sliver of his brain, it's been one of the more incredible things to sort of say, okay, we're gonna go like, did you see the talk that we did at E3? I haven't watched that yet. I asked Been him, I was like, I asked him, I said, this is so, such a perfect Kojima thing. At the end, I just said, look, we've talked a lot about filmmaking, because it was me talking about his influences in film and really letting the rest of the world know what a cinephile he is. Watch the interview, it's like an hour long, and he's so amazingly smart and loves film more than most people on the planet. And at the end, I was like, so what would your advice to me be going and taking on your baby? And he just turned to me and he said, do what I would do. Betray your audience, which is like such a beautiful That's, Kojima thing. That but, is classic Kojima. Uh, but protecting his voice and his, right. like the idiosyncrasies that are what make that game great is like my number one mission. Cool. Well, I, dude, it's been a, it's been a blast talking to you. Uh, yeah. Kong Skull Island, that's out on physical. It is on physical uh, Blu-ray and DVD, which I don't believe people physically buy Blu-ray and DVD anymore, but you should. Because back when I was in college, I would walk into someone's room and I'd look at their whole wall, their DVD wall, and I would judge the hell out of yeah. them based on what that DVD wall looked like. Talk I your would... friend into buying it and then steal his copy. You exactly. can't do that if it's just VOD, which it's already What's out What's the point on? of just like a digital version? Buy it, yeah. own it, have yeah. that in your hand. Anyway, uh, dude, seriously, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. The future of the Metal Gear franchise, I think, is in good hands with Jordan. Trying. And uh, Kong Skull Island kicks ass, so go check it out. We've got lots more coverage coming up from SDCC, so keep it right here on IGN.